Wenjek is an Ojibwe boy who ran away from his residential school with no idea where home was and died on the way home. I'm a stranger. I first heard of him when I was invited to We Day by Mike Downey and he spoke about him and the fun that they're going to do. At We Day, I was extremely nervous, um, but I also kind of felt that it wasn't really about me. I was there to tell a story. And I never knew a thing about it growing up. Never heard about it. Never, and I'm one of millions this country and it's only now that we're that it's coming up and, and only now that I think it will become part of the curriculum at every school. I had no idea that sitting in the car listening to the story of Chani Wenjack would turn into Secret Path the record, Secret Path the graphic novel, Secret Path the film, and indeed the Downey Wenjack fund. I'm not gonna stop Pretty astonishing that a kid close to my age had to uh, walk in the cold weather like that, and I've just never experienced something like that. So I was definitely writing little poems to it and stuff, um, thinking maybe I would. I don't know. I just couldn't stop reacting to it. So yeah, I was sort of keeping poems, and then a friend of mine said we should make a record, and I was like, I don't think I have anything. That's wait a second. I do and I wrote a, a record about his story. The story of really just a, a, me being the typical naive Canadian white person who hears this story and goes, what? What? And then he, what? But, you know, like literally just, it's the record of, a, of finding out for the first time, you know something that was going on for 120 years. Those who live too far in the wilderness to get to a daily school. They learn not only games and traditions, such as the celebration of St. Valentine's Day, but the mastery of words, which will open to them the whole range of the ordinary Canadian curriculum. The Gord Downey Cheney Wenjack Fund is basically built, uh, created uh, by my brother and I to basically create opportunities for indigenous and non-indigenous people to come together. So it's, we wanted using education, but also culture, art, film, uh, music. We want to bring the two solitudes together to have experiences like we did with Gord and I and my brother Patrick when we went up to visit the Wenjack sisters in Ogoki Post. Just meeting people face to face kind of changes the way you think about, the way you think about indigenous people. That day I felt a, an intense connection. I think um, I think a lot of Canadians do, actually, and will. And I, I think he'll loom as a representative or maybe even a symbol. Do you think you'll keep making music? I do. Till my last breath. Till my last breath.